I'm Andy. And I'm Liv. We're here in Alexandria, Kentucky. I'm a flight attendant. And I'm college bound. And here's another episode of Springhouse Farms. I'm gonna take you on a little tour. I have to watch the ground. Because there's tons of stumps in here. We're gonna have to grade this whole area. I need to get a selfie stick. There's a lot of things that we need to get. Needs versus wants, right? I wanna get a selfie stick. Actually, I think I might have one. So this is the area where the venue will be. If you can kind of see behind me, it's just a big open area. Sorry, I'm covering you up there. So this, what we just took out there, our building will be there, but the building is going to be a restroom facility and a place to store things. So we don't want the restroom facility too close to where the people will be sitting. So let me take you into what the wedding place actually will look like. So all of this is the brush that we took out. It's hot down here, but it's a different kind of hot. All right, let me flip you around and show you. There is a tree that we're gonna have to take down that's dead though, hang on. This is the entrance to where the bride or groom will walk down to get married. In this section, which it doesn't look like that now, there will be benches or we can set up chairs. This side looks a little bit more rocky. <laughs> We've had quite a few trees that have come down. They were the smaller ones though. They were actually the ones that we wanted to take down anyway. So, so down there, that's where it's all gonna happen. As you guys have seen, we got some, uh, some of the lands getting cleared out. Um, one of the problems we're having is that some of these larger trees can't get the excavator to, or I can get it to drop it, but it's, it's just, it's taking way too long. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get, grab the chainsaw, get it fired up. Ginger's over there right now moving the brush that we've got cleared out so far. Um, get the chainsaw sharpened up, ready to go. And, uh, I'll start dropping the big stuff and she'll put the pile together. You can see her over here. doing work. Yeah, as I was previously saying, these these trees that are in here, they're um, they're too close to the trees we want to keep. Uh, they're they're kind of like a pathway tree. They allow the the vines and the insects and stuff that kill trees, uh, mature trees. They're like a highway for them. And not only are they um, 
choking out or taking nutrition off of the ones, but they just don't provide a canopy. Uh, the canopy is a big deal because we have to uh, provide as much shade as we can when you're building anything. You want it, you don't want to take trees out just to take them out. Trees have a very uh, useful purpose in keeping buildings cool, keeping people cool. Um, and there's multiple tree lines that affect this. There's uh, the path that you saw where I'm standing right now, um, this is right around one o'clock in the afternoon, the sun's directly above me. And you can tell the trees that I'm taking out as they fall, they don't affect the shade. Um, a lot of these gum trees, that's a gum tree right there I'm cutting on now, they grow like cattails. Um, that tree that I just cut down is probably six inches in diameter at the most, and it probably has a four or five foot deep root base um, that I ultimately get out of there. The, there's a lot of thought. Uh, I probably spent 40 minutes um, just standing there looking again, watching the shade. I've been watching the shade for days. And the, the trees that we decided to take out were gum trees. Um, they don't serve a huge purpose. I can't even use them to make fence posts out of that I know of. Um, I have seen some videos and talked to some people in the area and they actually use gum trees to make boards um, and posts. It's been my experience as far as the trees that I, the gum trees that I've messed with in Kentucky. They, they're just, they, they're not, they rot quick um, and they're just not, they're not a beneficial tree to keep around. Um, but you can tell um, later on in some of these videos, you'll see that the, the shade is still in that area. Um, when the sun gets past it, it gets picked up by another oak that's on the other side by the barn. And as you can tell, safety is a huge priority for me there. Um, and that's why Ginger's working in a different area. She's actually moving all the brushes I'm taking it down. It worked out really great. I'm looking forward to seeing it when it's great and finished. Until today. Oh my God, it's been special for so long. Do I look less fat now? You never looked fat. Okay. Anyway.